We live in a world filled with uncertainty. Every day we face small questions of chance. Will it rain this afternoon? Will the bus arrive on time? Will my favorite team win the game? For most of human history, these questions were left to fate or to the gods. People saw the world as a place of mystery, where events happened without clear reason. A ship might return safely from a long voyage, or it might be lost to a sudden storm. A harvest could be plentiful, or it could fail completely. These were unpredictable turns of life, to be hoped for or feared. This way of thinking began to change, slowly, at first. People started to notice patterns in the chaos. Gamblers around a table with dice. Our story truly begins in the year 1654 with a puzzle. A French nobleman, the Chevalier de Meret, an avid gambler, faced a problem he couldn't solve. He was playing a game of chance that was interrupted before it finished. The game's rule, the first player to win a certain number of rounds would take the entire prize pot. But what happens if the game stops early? How should the prize be divided fairly, given the current score? This was born in the smoke-filled gaming parlors of Paris, and yet its solution would change the world. The Chevalier took his puzzle to Blaise Pascal. Pascal, mathematician and philosopher, saw it differently. He recognized it as a question about expectation and fairness, not just money. He imagined all the ways the game could have finished. By mapping those potential futures, he could compute each player's chance. A revolutionary idea. Use math to quantify an unplayed future. Pascal had taken the first step toward probability theory. While Pascal and Fermat had laid the foundation, the next major step came from a man who was fascinated by the bigger picture. About 50 years later, a Swiss mathematician named Jacob Bernoulli considered a different kind of question. He wasn't just interested in a single game or a single coin toss. He wanted to know what happens when you repeat an experiment over and over and over again. He wondered if the chaos of individual random events would eventually settle into a predictable, stable pattern. His work would give us one of the most important principles in all of probability. Bernoulli imagined that coin toss we talked about earlier. He reasoned that while a small number of tosses could give you almost any result, a very large number of tosses would tell a different story. He proved mathematically that as you increase the number of trials, the proportion of outcomes you actually observe will get closer and closer to the true underlying probability. If you flip a fair coin a million